Well, players across all levels of minor league baseball are hoping they have a season two. That includes those guys who are grinding it out on the independent league level. They, of course, aren't making the big money like their major league counterparts. Well, I spoke to some players on the Schaumburg Boomers and Windy City Thunderbolts about what missing games means to them. We're a bunch of guys who are playing because we really enjoy playing. Um, financially, it's, it's tough because... You know, the off season consists of working as much as you can, part-time jobs, whatever, to try to, to make ends meet. And then you'd hope to, to get the season going. Minor leaguers are struggling across the board to figure out what did the next month, two months, potentially six months look like. So it gets pretty, I don't want to say scary, but it, it just gets kind of, you know, just frustrating and again, confusing during a time like this. There is a lot of anxiety because... Like, I was actually just talking to my buddy about this. Um, we look forward to our baseball season, like, all throughout the off season, And then when it's kind of taken away from you, it's, like, tough. Well, now it's just an extended off season, So it makes it tough. But, I mean, there's nothing much you can do. Just kind of keep on keeping on, I guess. Does this maybe make you, make other guys think about, you know, maybe it's time to, to move on from baseball? I would think, yeah, that those thoughts are happening with a lot of guys. I think those are all healthy thoughts and good thoughts to have and figure out, like, you know, this – we all know that this this dream, in one way or another, nobody is going to play baseball forever. And so you'd hope that at some point you'd find another dream to go pursue. And so I think this has given guys a lot of time to think about what that might be. Personally, you know, it's it's a tough decision. You know, I, I was able to go back to college and get my degree. So – um you know, it's, it's kind of, you know, a game of, you know, weighing the pros and cons right now. And, uh, you know, it's always kind of keeping my options open, I guess. So, you know, I love playing the game. I, you know, my body, you know, it's still holding up well. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just a tough decision and something, you know, I, I, I think about quite often, actually. That's part of my bad days. Um, just kind of the thoughts of, you know, maybe I could, you know, see myself moving into the coaching arena or, doing something else completely uh it's it is tough right now it's uh because we're always working towards that that opening day that season spring training all that stuff and it's like okay those date those dates got here and i'm still not doing anything uh it's it, it is tough it's tough but i think i'm gonna stick with it i love it too much yeah, and these guys all still have that mlb dream but micah coffee said it's important to appreciate the opportunity they've been given even if they don't make it to the highest level. Jim? Yeah, he said, one of them said, I love it so much. It's hard to give that up, right? Yeah, I think they all love it. Yeah. All right, Matt. Thank you.